In this lesson, we are going to learn how to define the mass source. As we know, calculating the seismic base shear needs the total weight of the building, and also that part of other gravity load that acting on the building at the time. So that we need to define the mass source to ETAPS. So to do that, go to define, then click mass source. Now, as you can see, we have predefined the mass source, so I'm going to modify it. Here, in the mass source, uncheck all of these options, then select specified load patterns. This option combines the first two options, and allowing you to consider self-weight, specified mass, and loads in the same analysis. Next, under mass multiplier for load patterns, I will choose dead load, and the SD load with multiplier equal to 1. Finally, add the live load, and its multiplier depends on your building type. So, for resident building, take it 0.25. For public buildings like hospitals, malls, and schools, take it 0.5. For buildings like stores and libraries, you can take it 1. So, in our case, I will take it 0.25, which means only 25% of the live load will be considered in calculating the seismic loads. Finally, make sure that includes the vertical mass option not checked. Now click OK. Now it's the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn how to define the load combinations. So hang on for that.